Welcome to the Pharmacy Leaders Podcast with your host, Tony Guerra. The Pharmacy Leaders Podcast is a member of the Pharmacy Podcast Network with interviews and advice on building your professional network, brand, and a purposeful second income from students, residents, and innovative professionals. Hey, welcome to the Pharmacy Leaders Podcast. Uh, tough day, I know, or tough couple of days for a lot of us in the pharmacy nation. Um, looking for information and uh, what's going on. Um, I found that a couple of the Reddit boards are actually uh, pretty detailed in uh, what they're saying. Uh, but before I get to that, I just want to let you know the uh, Unicorn Jobs book is free right now on uh, Kindle. Uh, if you want to go get that, uh, it'll be free today, Thursday, uh, June 27th, and Friday, June 28th. Uh, so you can just pick it up. You don't have to be actually even own a Kindle uh, to use it. Uh, you can just uh, use the software that just comes down uh, or the reader that you can use on Amazon.com. So uh, the one Reddit board seems to have the most uh, information says that over 500 pharmacists were let go nationwide. Uh, and a little bit over a thousand pharmacy staff, uh, including technicians, were let go. I know that Walmart doesn't have the protection of a PBM uh, the way that uh, some of the other larger corporations do, and uh, because of that, uh, they are uh, subject to the same reimbursement problems that anyone else has. So um, I'm not going to read all of these because some of these I think are conjecture and uh, just easier for you to go to r forward slash pharmacy uh, and then it's a few updates on Walmart and you can read more about it. But again, I, I can't verify the information. I'm just telling you what's on this Reddit board. Uh, but there are a couple of them. Uh, you just have to put on Walmart layoffs and uh, you can find the information there. Uh, in terms of you know what do you do, I think uh, this goes back to the crash, and my wife and I had come out here uh, to Iowa from the East Coast, and uh, this was I want to say 07, 08, somewhere around there. Uh, she finished her residency, and uh, I worked, ended up working part time at a couple of uh, the chains, uh, Walgreens, Kmart. And when I came to the Des Moines area, I didn't look for a pharmacist job. I looked for a job that I could do with my degree. And because I graduated in 97, when they first started the PharmD, my classes were really some of the PhD classes. And I had a lot of biology prefixes, chemistry prefixes, and something that I had no idea was that as someone who has 18 credits or more in biology and chemistry, I was eligible to teach classes at community college. So I just tried it out. I taught organic chemistry for a summer. And because I was able to have that experience, uh, an opportunity came up to teach in the pharmacy technician program. Uh, I've since moved on from that uh, recently, last couple of years, to uh, just teaching chemistry and pharmacology uh, at my community college. But I guess the take-home point and what the whole pharmacy jobs book is about, it's about people that are in a situation, maybe they didn't do a residency, maybe they are later in their career, maybe they didn't have the right experience to get the traditional job, the PGY1, the PGY2 uh, background, and found another opportunity which is also more satisfying because it fit more with what they did, but also unexpected that because of their competence, because of their background and other experiences, they found something uh, that's really unique. And, and I can't go through all of the stories, but uh, there are 125 either pharmacists, pharmacy uh, students in that book, and you can read about uh, their experiences and maybe kind of pick one or two uh, that you want to talk to or that you want to follow on their channels. A lot of them podcast, a lot of them write blogs and see, well, how did they do it? What did they do when they were kind of up against the wall? Uh, as you know, I know 
Uh, we've got a ton of residency graduates uh, going to be graduating here in four days. So actually, it's probably this weekend, I guess. I guess it would be tomorrow. I can't imagine that they would keep them into uh, July because I know July 1st is the traditional start uh, of the new residency. So I guess residents are graduating tomorrow. Um, so a little bit of a scary time, I think. Uh, we were certainly a little bit worried as we were coming to Des Moines, but my wife, I think, literally got one of the only jobs that was available at uh, our, it, it's a larger grocery store chain here in the Midwest, hy V, and they're super nice. Uh, their moniker is a helpful smile on every aisle, and uh, she got a uh, leadership position as a manager, uh, won an award, then came down here, had that position, then decided to move on to the VA. Uh, and then I had my teaching position uh, that went from an adjunct position in the summer to full-time uh, in the fall, and I've been there for 11 years, and I love it. So again, I'm so sorry to those that are struggling right now, and uh, I know that there are we're fortunate to be in a bull market where there are jobs, it's just how do you turn what you have with a degree into something that is going to work in another industry. And, and uh, hopefully the book helps you. Uh, just some really, really great stories in there of people that uh, maybe they're time bound where they have to be able to take their kids to school or pick them up or they're place bound, their spouse is moving around and they have to move with them. And they've not just made the best of it, uh, but they've actually thrived and uh, created some positions, and they've really helped other people. And I think the common thread is that when things went bad, instead of saying something like, I really need help, they went the exact other direction to say, how can I help a lot of people uh, with my unique skill set, my unique talent? So again, uh, pick up the book for free today and Friday, and um, yeah, I, I, I wish you guys the best. Support for this episode comes from the audiobook Memorizing Pharmacology, a relaxed approach. With over 9,000 sales in the United States, United Kingdom, and Australia, it's the go-to resource to ease the pharmacology challenge. Available on Audible, iTunes, and Amazon.com. In print, ebook and audiobook. Thank you for listening to the Pharmacy Leaders Podcast with your host, Tony Guerra. Be sure to share the show with the hashtag #PharmacyLeaders. Leaders. 